Banff is the iconic alpine town situated in the heart of the Canadian Rockies. Banff and the Banff National Park attracts over 4 million visitors each year for its picturesque town centre, outdoor activities and majestic natural beauty. At an altitude of just over 4,500 feet, Banff is the highest town in Canada with easy access to world-renowned ski resorts, luxury accommodation and five-star restaurants. Banff is located in the province of Alberta in western Canada. Visitors to Banff primarily arrive in the city of Calgary, which provides a world-class international airport servicing flights from around the world. Alternately, train service from Vancouver with the Rocky Mountaineer train line is an epic multi-day journey through the coast and Rocky Mountains, terminating in the town of Banff. Calgary is located at the foothills of the Rocky Mountains and getting to Banff is easy by car or motor coach from many of the hotels in the city. About an hour along the Trans-Canada Highway, then another 45 minutes to Lake Louise, Calgary is the closest major city to Banff National Park. Banff can also be reached from Jasper to the north, Radium to the south, and Vancouver and British Columbia to the west. Entry into the park is controlled at the park gates where one day admission is about $20 Canadian per car or about $8 per person if traveling in a larger group. Attach the pass to the window of your car to avoid a fine. Passes can also be purchased from the visitor center in downtown Banff. The town center of Banff is about 10 minutes from the gate. The highway is lined with protective fencing for the entire length of the park to prevent wildlife from entering the roadway. The rest of the park, including the town of Banff, is free for wildlife to roam, so keep an eye out and follow precautions. Banff Avenue runs down the center of downtown Banff and is a great place to stroll with an ice cream, taking in the atmosphere of this distinctive Canadian town. The main street is also lined with shops, restaurants and bars catering to visitors from around the world. The population of Banff sits around 8,000 people and is limited through a strict application process. There are plenty of hotels in Banff, but they come at a premium. If you are planning on spending a couple days in Banff and you have a car, check Canmore just outside the park or even Calgary for lower rates. Banff was literally built for visitors. In 1883, after the discovery of natural hot springs, the Canadian Pacific Railway began development of Banff and the Banff Springs Hotel as a tourist destination. Today, Banff stays true to its roots and serves up indulgences to visitors as they take in the natural beauty. In the warm summer months, visitors take in the market where they can find local crafts and treats or a concert in the park while relaxing by the Bow River. There are several museums in the downtown area and one-of-a-kind souvenir shops to commemorate your visit. A short drive from downtown is the Cave and Basin. The original hot spring discovery that launched the town of Banff and the Canadian National Park System in 1885. At only $4, you can visit the cave and marvel in the beauty of the natural oculus that illuminates the cave and the brilliant blue mineral pool below. Outside the cave is the bathing area that was active until the 1990s. The exterior hot spring pools, or basin, are still visible just off the pool deck. Bow Falls is located below the Banff Springs Hotel on the Bow River. Originating at Bow Glacier, the river is fed by various glaciers and mountain creeks. Local tour companies provide guided rafts down the river for a unique view of the Rocky Mountains and the Bow River Valley. One of the cleanest water sources in the world, the Bow River travels westward through Calgary and is famous for its spectacular trout fishing. The world-renowned Banff Springs Golf Course is located just down the road from the falls. Opening in 1911 and expanded to 18 holes in 1928, the course winds through valleys, forests, and mountainsides. A favorite destination for many, the number four Devil's Cauldron is considered one of the world's most scenic par threes. This course is truly worth playing a little slower than normal. 
The jewel of the Canadian Rockies is the world-famous Banff Springs Hotel. Built in 1885, the Banff Springs is built in the Canadian Chateau style, which is modeled after the Scottish baronial style with French Chateau accents. Sometimes referred to as the Castle in the Rockies, the Banff Springs Hotel is every much an attraction as it is accommodation. The lower floors are marked with grand ballrooms, restaurants, lounges and shopping arcades. The traditionally styled rear entrance overlooks the valley below with stunning views of the incredible Rundle Mountain. The front lobby is more modern, following the unique Rocky Mountain style with exposed stone and timbers, with grand arches and sweeping staircases. Luxury accommodations and spectacular conference facilities make the Banff Springs popular for corporate retreats and weddings. The Willow Stream Spa will pamper guests with a host of therapeutic services after a long day of hiking the many trails that surround the town. The shopping arcade includes uniquely Canadian fare, art galleries and luxury items. The Banff Spring Hotel put Banff on the map and it continues to attract visitors with its majestic presence. Just up the road on Sulphur Mountain is the Banff Upper Hot Springs. The Hot Springs has become a favorite destination year-round. Modernized over the years, the hot spring water is from a natural mineral source heated by the Earth's crust at up to 40 degrees Celsius or 104 degrees Fahrenheit. The water does have a distinct sulphur odor, but most visitors will attest to the therapeutic properties after just a short dip. Also, the view is pretty amazing. Right next to the hot springs is the Banff Gondola which will take you to the top of Sulphur Mountain. Tickets are available on site and free shuttle bus service is provided from downtown Banff. It'll take about 8 minutes to arrive at the top of the mountain in one of the safe but small 4 person gondola cars. At the top, there is a wooded boardwalk to wander the top of the mountain or have lunch in the restaurant at the modern Summit building. At an altitude of over 8,000 feet, the views up here are breathtaking. Getting to Lake Louise is a 45-minute drive northwest of Banff on the Trans-Canada Highway or an hour or two on Highway 1A. The Highway 1A route will take you inside the wildlife protected fencing and can allow for roadside viewing of mule deer, wolves, coyotes, black bears, grizzlies, bighorn sheep, and elk. Johnston Canyon is a popular stop on Highway 1A. Paved and marked trails will lead you to the spectacular scenery along the river to majestic waterfalls at the end of the trail. Keep an eye out for wildlife here and follow the posted signs. In addition to world-class skiing, Lake Louise is home to the Postcard Resort at the edge of the lake. The turquoise blue of the lake is created from rock flour, or stone dust, that is suspended in the water. The rock flour is created by the crushing force of the glacier as it melts slowly and grinds against the mountain. Hikers can hike up the side of the mountain to the tea house or around the lake on the various hiking and walking trails. While lending a more modern look, the Chateau Lake Louise has had several expansions and updates over the years. With over 550 rooms, the Chateau attracts international guests year-round. A number of shopping options surround the lobby and lower level, with seven dining options in the hotel, most overlooking the splendor of the lake. A 20-minute drive from the Chateau is Moraine Lake. Moraine Lake features a large rock pile at the eastern edge of the lake, with a trail leading to the top. From this vantage point, you can see the full scope of the mountain range surrounding the lake and on a calm day, a beautiful mirror-like reflection of the mountains in the lake. With over a thousand glaciers and numerous accessible lakes, Banff National Park has plenty to offer for the nature enthusiast. Just up the Icefields Parkway towards Jasper National Park and the Columbia Icefields, be sure to stop for a quick hike to the lookout at Pato Lake. 
or stop at Bow Lake on the side of the highway. Help our channel grow. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.